Jesse Alexander Green. My background is, um, my major was African American Studies and writing for television, television radio, and film. And um, I love black culture. A dramaturg's main responsibility, my approach, is to anchor a show in history. Minstrelsy is America's first form of national entertainment based in a time, a period of codified racial apartheid in which African Americans are caricatured as Mammy, Coon, Sambo, Bucks, Jim Crow. This show is anchored in a history that comes with some controversy. And so it's an act of responsibility to make sure that the actors who, are, who have chosen to be a part of this show understand all sides of the case because this was based on a factual case in the early 1930s so that the actors are informed to make decisions not only in their characters on the stage but in their person. What does that feel like to be a teenager in the 1930s? For a trial to take over 80 years to, to get resolution? And then what does that say about who we are um, as African diasporic people? It has got to say that we are resilient people. But then what does it say about America? What I believe Jerry has done, he has created the context for this play that the guys are a traveling troupe of minstrels who are owning the telling of the story. And you go! The first day, we talked about dramaturgy from um, being rooted in impression management and there being a front stage self and a backstage self. And the question that was asked was, how often do you get a chance to present your front stage self, which is a refined self that you want the world to believe? And when do you get those backstage moments? And then conversely, when you go through the script, what are those moments when the Scottsboro boys can be their backstage selves and really tap into the fear that came with being accused of raping a white woman in 1930, as well as, do we get a chance to see um, any of the beautiful ways that we perform blackness every day? I'm not taking the blame, I'm gonna get out of here. I've gotta get out of here. I ain't down for a lot. In the finale, will these actors choose to do what the script says, which is to wear blackface? We today gave them a choice after they received the history lesson and they learned some of the impact. Do you want to be in blackface, understanding what it has symbol symbolically meant? Do you want to be in blackface in the finale? If so, why so? If not, why not? If you're in the middle, what does it mean? Some said yes, because we are performers. Some said mixed emotion due to what's racially going on in America at this time. I'm already fulfilled. Um, I get a chance to, in a setting that I love, which is the performing arts, give a history lesson on black culture so that actors understand the weight of the trial and the responsibility of the roles. I'm already fulfilled. It, 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 I'm already fulfilled. Mm -hmm.